let's see some problematic charts. The charts that you are going to see come from this website, Statistics How To. What is the problem of this pizza or pie chart? If you sum up the parts, the slices, you get more than 100%. In this kind of surveys, you want mutually exclusive answers. People cannot vote in the same time for Palin and Romney. If a person says, I intend to vote for Palin or Romney, this answer can be allocated to the category undecided vote. Let's see another chart. If Bush tax cut expire, the tax will increase from 35% to 39.6%. What's the problem with this chart? Graphically, it looks a huge impact. The axis doesn't start from zero, but from 34. That's why you have the graphic illusion that the cut looks much bigger. Andy, what about the chart about the unemployment rate under President Obama? What's the problem? See that the 8.6 unemployment rate is above 8.8 .8 unemployment rate. 8.6 is in the same level of 9%. Now, take a look in this chart here. Welfare versus full-time jobs. People on welfare, 108 million. And people with a full-time job, 101 million. If you check the source Census Bureau 2011, this bar includes anyone residing in a household in which one or more people receive benefits. Therefore, it includes individuals who did not receive any government benefits. But this bar includes only individuals who worked, not individuals residing in a household where at least one person worked. 